welcome back to the Fossil Academy. Now, I've got a stinking cold. I've not been in the workshop for a long, long time. A couple of weeks, about three weeks now. I got in last week and I did get that uh, ammonite finished off. Sadly, I just didn't feel like filming that night. I don't know. I just felt like getting on and doing some work without the, the, you know, having the distractions and the hassle of filming it all. Uh, but I got it finished, so I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to be working today on using the air abrasive machine to try and clean up this little bit of crinoid so you can get to see uh, a bit about the air abrasive. There you go. That's my air abrasive machine. It's uh, an old an old Comco. But basically, uh, I got that machine and it was making a real racket. So if you get one of these old machines, you turn it on and it sounds like someone's put a bag of spanners in it and every time you kick your, kick your foot pedal, it's just like like properly going for it uh it means your modulator which is the bit that shakes that shakes all the the powder through uh it means that's shot so like i say in my old um my on my other video that microblaster the sh the only place in england that actually deals with those ones is in the next village along which is charred well not next village along there's loads of villages in between but it's close it's like 20 minutes away down the road which is awesome that noise as well is my refrigerant dryer so that's drying the air as it goes through which is that machine there this bad boy i am so sorry about the state of my workshop it's a mess it's a proper mess i'm gonna have to i'm, I'm redoing it all I'm going to redo it all. But anyway, I'm chatting on, I'm chatting rubbish. So before we crack on and clean this bit of crinoid up using the air abrasive machine tonight, that is for somebody who came into the uh, the centre. So that's come, someone who came into the centre at work to see us. And he found that he hit it with a hammer just there. And he brought it in and said, like, you know, what's this? And I was like, it's a nice bit of crinoid. Uh, get me and I'll take it home and I'll uh, think I think he hit it a few times to be honest so it did lose a bit well that's what it looks like uh, before I get on with that and clean that with the abrasive I'm going to show you the ammonite that I finished when I was too lazy to film <laughs> I gotta wet it makes it look better so here it is on my messy workbench oh, God, so messy Honestly, Steve next door would go mental if he saw the state of my workshop. His workshops, his garage is pristine. Anyway, so let's have a look. That's what it looked like on the back. Remember, it looked really blown. It's got a tiny, cool little gastropod there. Really nice. Those spines were a pain in the backside. So you can sort of see as well, look how much of it's gone. Just miss that middle. So it's enough for a middle. But yeah. So that one's for you, family Schneider. Again, somebody who came into the centre and wanted one cleaning. I do love it. It's really nice. It's really nice. Came out really. It sits quite well as well. Just uh, like that. It sits quite nice. I mean, you could cut a base on it so it's sort of sat up like that, maybe. But I don't know, it looks quite nice as as it were. So it's, it's, it's a nice. But yeah. And I think that took around about 10, 12 hours to do that one. And it's just ba basically these, these spines on it. You sort of see them, these little spiky spines. Just a pain in the backside to clean you know they pop off like boom if you get too close to them but yeah it's, it's, it's key is just to just to just to find them with the air pen just you, you sort of smooth in the rock off like taking layer after layer like maybe half a mil half a mil half a mil boom you see like little dots going around where where you've just tip you know hit the tips the calcite and then you can air braid them down so yeah pain in the backside lovely ammonite quite a lot of iron pyrite in it as well but the little gastropod as well i'm loving the little gastropod it's really cool let's have a look try and get that i don't know how close you can get with these gopros 
Really nice. Drying out now and all. It's drying out. But yeah. Well happy with that. So let's have a look at this one. Right, what we're doing is this. We are cleaning a bit of crinoid. Now you can see I've already started giving an, uh, a little test blast with the air abrasive. And now I know roughly how thick this rock is. I've smoothed off a bit of rock, but left enough on to protect it. Because if you go anywhere near these delicate bits with, with, with the pen, if you go anywhere near those bad boys, you've shot it really. Uh, trying to get some decent light <laughs> so you can see. Yeah. So what we've got to do really is use the air pen to get rid of some of this rock and then over to the air abrasive unit and hopefully tonight I'll be able to show you this cleaned up what it looks like. It shouldn't take too long. There's not that much rock on it. This bit here looks really nice. It's got some really nice detail and I've got right under there with the abrasive. And uh, yeah, it's looking all right. There you go, bit of contrast. Blow it. But yeah, like I say, it's a shame we whacked it. It's a shame we whacked it a few times, but who's it for anyway? Mr. Freeman, Mr. J. Freeman, this one's yours. Come on down. All right, I'll get that clean. So I thought I was filming them, but turns out I weren't. I just took a picture. Basically what I've done is smooth down this using a sideways motion. It's, you know, you're not digging, you're not digging channels, you're not trying to remove loads of rock. You're just trying to, you know, just whittling it down slowly. You can sort of see the only place where I've where I've touched a bit of the crinoid. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't. It's, it's a tiny little white speck because obviously the rock's grey. The crinoid is preserved in a, a calcite. You know, that goes white when, when the pen touches it. I've only touched it like a tiny bit. So basically what I'm doing is just trying to get as close as I can so the air abrasive uh, doesn't have to work as much. You know, it's not got as much rock to remove. So that's what you're doing. And I don't want, you know, this bit here, there you are, this bit here, I can't see what I'm doing. So this bit, so you can sort of see it coming down here. It's quite close here, so I've left that bit as it was. I don't want to, you know, the air abrasive can do that bit. This bit here, it sort of dips down, so I've, I've removed a bit there. Uh, and I've got rid of as much as I can. And that's what you're trying to do. Like I say, don't, because you'll just chip off bit, you know, chipping off big bits, you'll take away the crinoid underneath it as well. You want to just wear it down nice and slow. Sort of just tickle it, take another layer, just keep doing it, and then crack on with the abrasive. So now, I'll whack it over and hopefully, tonight, I might actually get some decent footage in the abrasive cabinet. I found a false widow as well, hiding in that corner down there. Greg. Greg the widow. But yeah, keep, keep out. There's a note in here. Look at that out there though. Pretty awful, isn't it? Oh, spiders webs. Eight spiders. Yeah. All right, all right. We'll see how this goes. We'll try and uh, try and get some good film on it. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Let's uh, crack on with abrasive.
All right, next time you see this workshop, it's got to be tidy. Tidier. Tidy-ish. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching as well. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Whack it. Just tap the button. If, you, you know, if you're know, if you into it, you want to see more fossils being cleaned, just whack subscribe. It's nice. Makes me feel good when I've got like, a lot of followers and stuff. I'm very shallow. But yeah, I'm tired. And I've got a cold. But yeah. Laters.